Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, hopefully the sound is okay. I've got my mic on, but it is windy out here. Um, it's been like 55, 60 here in Wisconsin. And now today it's like 37 right now. And we're supposed to get some snow tomorrow again. Um, but I wanted to do a couple videos on customer service at different establishments that we use. Um, we, you, you know, you guys know we spend a lot of money on the products that we have, and to have a company stand behind their product to me is awesome. Um, so I wanted to give some shout outs to, you know, I'm going to do some videos on a couple of them. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to some video here in a second of when Sadie and I went out into the woods to go get my camera. This guy right here. Um, I'm going to show you real quick, but they tried to cut the cable. I put this thing like 10 feet up in the tree because I take out a stick with me and I go up. But they tried to cut, this was over on the other side, but they tried to cut the cable and it cable goes around the tree, then it goes through here, which keeps the door locked. Um, but as you can see, they tried to pry it open and they broke the door. Um, and they stole the SD card. Uh, they must have really torqued it a lot just to get it open enough to pop out the SD card. And let me go to that video right now when Sadie and I went out into the woods, and then I'll come right back to you guys, okay? Hey guys, how are you? So Sadie and I, where's Sadie? Right there. Hey Sadie. Came out to get my trail cam. I thought maybe the batteries, the batteries were at 80, so they'll start stop transmitting photos. Well, then it was weird that the SD card said zero. So just as I suspected, somebody uh, couldn't get the camera off the tree right here. So it's like 10 feet up in the tree, cabled on. And decided to steal the SD card out of it. I had to break the door to get the SD card out. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't call them fellow hunters uh, because they would fashion themselves as a hunter because nobody else would just want the cards. So, got to thank them a lot. Uh, I have a suspicion, not by name who they are, but I had a picture on the camera of a guy taking this log, which is right here by the base of the tree. It was over there. Roll it over here. And at that time, I, the camera was askew because he couldn't probably get it down. So he planned on coming back and probably getting it. I may throw a picture of it up on the, uh, in this video with it. Um, but you can see his, he came in on the back side of the tree. So he wouldn't be in the picture because it is a cellular one. Um, but we'll take it down, see if it works. Might have to get a steel box for it. But just got to thank these great fellow, they call themselves fellow hunters, or they call themselves a hunter, I should say. I wouldn't call them a fellow hunter because a fellow hunter wouldn't do that. If you guys agree, let me know in the comments section. I'll take some pictures when I get up there also. But yeah, got to love them. Got to love them. All right, let me get this uh, camera down. I'm going to take it back home. Um, got to change out the batteries anyways. So Sadie and I will get this down and uh, we'll go from there. All right, now yeah, you can see where he tried to, when I get up there, I'll show you, he tried to cut the cable. So, all right guys. So here it is, the cable, I tried to pull it through the hole, but you can see where he tried to cut the cable. Um, then it got stuck right there just now. Um, but I'll get that out of there. Yeah, he tried to cut the cable off. Couldn't get that off, so he, uh, Broke the door. The cable went through that hole right there, through this. And he broke the door. And stole the SD card out of there. So, still locks, probably still works. Um, but, gotta love it. Like I said, not a fellow hunter. So we'll pack it up. Makes me debate if I should get my other one out of here right now. 
or if I should just leave that one. That one's a little harder to see. This one was a little bit open. It had some nice big bucks on it. But I've got all the pictures because they were cellular and sent to me, so. All right, guys. I want to pack this all up in my sick uh, fanny pack. It's hanging on the tree. We'll get the bee stick off the tree. And we'll head out. All right. See you guys later. All right, guys. So as I said in that video, not a fellow hunter. Um, but what I'd love to know also is if you guys have had something stolen out of the woods also, let me know. Maybe what precautions you try to take. I mean, this stopped them from stealing the camera, this cable. Um, it's a master lock. They couldn't cut through it. I got to try and probably either cut some of the plastic off so I can get the cable back through this hole. But it works. Um, if you remember seeing my video on this thing right here as far as trying to um, adjust this out in the woods, uh, you need, you know, different video, you need different um, wrenches to tighten it up but um so back to sky point though so sky point i contacted them and i told them i just wanted a replacement door for this unit because basically it looks like it's just a pin on the top that could pop out they asked me to fill out and tell me tell them what happened with it so i filled it all out the form and what did they do what did sky point or spy spy point do they sent me a new camera that is awesome customer service guys i mean all i was asking for was a door to replace this one they sent me a new camera with postage and i will just put this back into the box that they sent me and send it back to them spy point i just want to say thank you very much for standing behind your product this wasn't even a malfunction of your product this was an idiot trying to steal my camera. Um, and you guys are standing behind this. I mean, that is just freaking awesome. If you guys have had a similar experience, let me know. I'd love to hear it. If you've had this kind of customer service from another you know, manufacturer of the products, let me know. Put it in the comment section so other guys can see it and know where they can spend their money that they're going to be able to rely on that company to take care of their product. Like I said, this is awesome, way above and beyond. Not your fault at all, Spy Point, but you stood behind your product and sent me a new camera. This is so freaking awesome. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. But, you know, a great camera, great company as far as I'm concerned, standing behind their product. And just thank you so much. And I'm going to show you guys something real quick. I picked these up from Innovative, Innovating the Outdoors. I'm gonna try and use this one. Like I said, this one uses tools to get on there on the tree. This little one is made out of a 3D printer. If you're gonna try them out, I bought a three pack. You basically can screw your camera into the quarter inch 20. And then easy adjustment, you got a slot right here for your strap. You can buy them with or without straps. Um, you basically can put this baby, put it on there, tighten this up, and then tighten this down so you can get any kind of adjustment with this thing. So when you get it on the tree to get that perfect adjustment for your camera, and then once you got it, just tighten it down, and it does not move. So I'm going to try this out on the uh, tree and see how it works. I will let you guys know. I may drill a hole through here, though. I'm not sure if I'm going to, to maybe put the cable through, just so I can secure this on the tree also. But cable going through the camera will help. But I may drill it through there. But I'll let you guys know how this one works out. But then again, guys, I just want to say thanks to Spy Point for sending me a new camera and standing behind their product, even though it wasn't their fault at all. All right, guys, I will see you later. I got a couple more videos coming out pretty soon. Um, I got a couple other companies that have really stood behind their products. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.